So here's our picture. We're going to use derivatives to find velocity, and we have this this little guy over here. This is his. <laughs> I swear this is true. This is his diving board. He's going to jump up off the diving board. Little spring, go back down. He's going to hit the water at some point. The water is 32 feet below him. So here's his function. And the first question is, when does he hit the water? So when does he hit the water? So when does he hit the water? The first thing I'm going to do to answer that question is this. This is a position function right here, so I'm going to set that position function as zero because he hits the water at when his height is zero. The factor out this negative 16, that gives us t squared here, minus t, minus 2. Doesn't it? If you put that back in, you get all these pieces back. From here, I'm going to go ahead and factor this, and this is going to give us t What does it give us? T minus 2, T plus 1? T minus 2, T plus 1 equals 0, right? Is that negative 16 T? So at T equals 2 seconds, he hits the water. And for some reason, it seems that he hits the water at T equals negative 1 second. We know that's, that's crap, isn't it? So that's not true. So he hits the water 2 seconds after he takes that initial bounce as he springs off of it, right? The second question is this. What is the diver's velocity at impact? How fast is he going? Well, we'd have to take the derivative, and we know that the first derivative of position is equal to velocity. And the first derivative, I'm going to take the derivative of this function up here, would give us negative 32t plus 16. And we know that he hits the water after 2 seconds. So we want v of, t, v of 2. That gives us negative 64 plus 16. And what is that number? What is that amount? It's negative 48. So he's going negative 48 feet per second. Negative 48. That's all right. Look, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And your comments are always welcome. Thanks. Appreciate it.